everyone, welcome to Crazy Calculations, and for today's Crazy Calculation, we're going to learn about reference angles. So, what are reference angles? A reference angle is the angle that the terminal side of an angle makes with the x-axis. Some things you should know about reference angles. The first is that reference angles are always acute angles, which means they're between 0 degrees and 90 degrees, or 0 and pi over 2. And the second thing you should know is that reference angles are always positive. So, reference angles are always acute positive angles. And why are reference angles important? Well, angles with the same reference angle always have the same sines, cosines, and tangents, except one might be positive and one might be negative. So how do you find the reference angle of an angle? Let's start with angles in the first quadrant. What is the reference angle of 50 degrees? To find the reference angle of 50 degrees, we'll pull out our coordinate plane and draw out a 50 degree angle. And we know that a reference angle is the angle that the terminal side always makes with the x-axis. And since this 50 degree angle is on this half of the coordinate plane, it's going to make an angle with the positive x-axis. So we need to find the angle right here, but since this angle is in the first quadrant, it's just 50 degrees. And what about the reference angle of 75 degrees? A 75 degree angle looks like this, and we need to find the angle right here. And that's just 75 degrees, right? And now what about the reference angle of 23 degrees? 23 degree angle looks like this, and the angle right here is also just 23 degrees. So if you have an angle in the first quadrant, the reference angle is just the same thing as that angle. Now what about angles in the second quadrant? What is the reference angle of 154 degrees? Again, we'll pull out our coordinate plane and graph out a 154 degree angle. This time you can see that the angle is in this half of the coordinate plane, which means it'll make an angle with the negative x-axis. So we need to find the angle right here. And how do we do that? Well, for any angle in the second quadrant, to find its reference angle, we just need to do 180 degrees minus the angle, which will give us the angle right here. So we'll do 180 minus 154, which gives us a 26 degree angle. And what about a 135 degree angle? What's its reference angle? Well, a 135 degree angle looks like this. We need to find the angle right here. So we'll just do 180 degrees minus 135 degrees to get 45 degrees. And what about an angle of 98 degrees, which looks like this? The angle right here is 180 degrees minus 98 degrees, which gives us 82 degrees right here. And what about an angle in quadrant 3? What is the reference angle of 243 degrees? Here's our coordinate plane, and here's a 243 degree angle. Again, an angle in the third quadrant is always on this side of the coordinate plane, so it will make an angle with the negative x-axis. So we're looking for the angle right here. Well, to find the reference angle of an angle in the third quadrant, we just need to do that angle minus the 100 degrees right here. So 243 degrees minus 180 degrees gives us 63 degrees. So this is a 63 degree angle right here. And now what about a 195 degree angle, which looks like this? Well, we'll do the same thing. 195 degrees minus 180 degrees gives us a 15 degree angle right here. And how about 264 degrees, which looks like this? Again, we'll do 264 degrees minus 180 degrees right here, which gives us 84 degrees right here, which is our reference angle. And what about an angle in the fourth quadrant? What is the reference angle of 352 degrees? Well, here's our coordinate plane, and here's a 352 degree angle. This time, an angle in the fourth quadrant is always on this side of the coordinate plane, so it will make a reference angle with the positive x-axis. So we're looking for the angle right here, and to do that, we'll do 360 degrees minus the angle right here to get the little angle right here. So we'll do 360 degrees minus 352 degrees, which gives us an 8 degree angle right here. And now what about a 296 degree angle, which looks like this? Again, we'll do the same thing. 360 degrees minus 296 degrees from right here gives us a 64 degree angle right here. And last but not least, what about 338 degrees, which looks like this? 360 degrees minus 338 degrees gives us an angle of 22 degrees right here. And what if your angle is given to you in radians, not degrees? Well, let's start with angles and radians in the first quadrant first. So what is the reference angle of pi over 4? Here's our coordinate plane. Here's pi over 4. Since this is in the first quadrant, which is on this half of the coordinate plane, it will make an angle with the positive x-axis, 
and the angle right here is also just pi over 4. What about pi over 6? This is pi over 6, and the angle right here is just pi over 6. So again, with radians, the reference angle of an angle in the first quadrant is just itself. What about an angle in radians in the second quadrant? What is the reference angle of 3 pi over 5? Well, here's our coordinate plane, and here's 3 pi over 5. This time we'll be making a reference angle with the negative x-axis, so we're looking for the angle right here. And to do that, we'll do pi, which is 180 degrees, pi minus this angle right here. So pi is the same thing as 5 pi over 5 minus 3 pi over 5 gives us 2 pi over 5. So this angle right here is 2 pi over 5. And what about 2 pi over 3, which looks like this? Again, we'll do pi minus 2 pi over 3 to find this angle right here. And pi is the same thing as 3 pi over 3. So we'll do 3 pi over 3 minus 2 pi over 3 to get a reference angle of pi over 3 right here. And what about the third quadrant? What is the reference angle of 13 pi over 10? Here's our coordinate plane, and this is what 13 pi over 10 looks like. And to find the reference angle of an angle in quadrant 3, it's just your angle minus pi, right? That's our formula. So we'll do 13 pi over 10 minus 10 pi over 10, which is the same thing as pi, to get 3 pi over 10. So this is a 3 pi over 10 radian angle right here. And what about 5 pi over 4? This is what 5 pi over 4 looks like, and to find the reference angle right here, we'll do 5 pi over 4 minus 4 pi over 4, which is the same thing as pi, to get pi over 4. So this is a pi over 4 angle right here. And last but not least, what about radians in quadrant 4? What is the reference angle of 14 pi over 9? Here's our coordinate plane, and here's a 14 pi over 9 radian angle. And again, since this angle is in the fourth quadrant, it should be making an angle with the positive x-axis. So to find this reference angle right here, we'll do 2 pi minus this angle right here to get the reference angle. So 2 pi is the same thing as 18 pi over 9. So we'll do 18 pi over 9 minus 14 pi over 9 to get 4 pi over 9. So 4 pi over 9 is our reference angle right here. And what about 11 pi over 6? This is what 11 pi over 6 looks like. And we'll do 2 pi, which is 12 pi over 6 minus 11 pi over 6, gives us a reference angle of pi over 6 right here. And what if the angle is negative or greater than 360 degrees or 2 pi? Well, the first step is to find a coterminal angle between 0 and 360 degrees, or 0 and 2 pi radians. And the second step is just to solve like before. So for example, if you're given a 370 degree angle, then you would just convert that to a 10 degree angle. Those two are coterminal, and then you'd follow the same steps. Or if you were given a negative pi over 3 angle, then you would just convert that to 5 pi over 3 and follow the same steps as before. And that's it for reference angles. If you have any questions, comments, videos you want to see, or anything else you want to say, feel free to drop a comment down below. And other than that, I will see you next time.